Hello, wonderful people, and welcome back to my channel. So excited to have you here today. I'm currently on vacation with my family in Berlin, which has been super, super cool and fun. And I've been doing a lot of fun stuff like thrift shopping, which I will be making a video on my thrift haul from while I've been here soon. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Been doing a lot of looking at art, museums, taking pictures, drawing, which has been super, super fun and enjoyable. And that actually brings me into my next talking point for this video, which is the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 40,000 different classes that you can take and things such as art, photography, graphic design, animation, video editing, health and wellness, the list goes on and on and on. It's a super easy way to learn more and practice the things that you love and work on your personal growth. I personally got into Skillshare because I recently started learning about art and taking art classes, mostly drawing. And with COVID, it's a little bit hard to find in-person classes and get that sort of teaching that I want, but Skillshare has so many drawing classes that are amazing. And I'm so, so grateful that I found this platform because it's been super, super helpful to me, especially because I've been away. All I need is a notebook, notepad, some pencils, and I'm good to go and I'm good to learn. And it's super, super helpful. The class I'm currently taking on Skillshare is called basic skills slash getting started with drawing. It's in the section called the arts and science of drawing and it's been super, super cool. The instructors on Skillshare are super authentic and engaging. It's a really, really great way to improve super quickly and it's super, super easy to use. You can literally do it from wherever you are. All you need is some sort of technological device. The first 1,000 viewers of my video to sign up through the link in the description will get one month free of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. This is a really, really great opportunity. You can learn a lot in a month and I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. Another really cool thing about Skillshare is that it kind of creates a diverse community of people with similar interests as you, which is a really great way to bond and learn from each other. You can use social media to post your work, get critiques from others. Super, super cool community. I definitely do. And I'm very, very grateful for Skillshare sponsoring this video. And I'm so grateful to have discovered their platform because I'm already learning so much and I've been looking for something like this. So thank you so much, Skillshare. I really appreciate it. So now for the topic of this video, which is angel numbers and how they relate to manifestation. I have a lot to say about that, but before we get into that, I'm just gonna explain for anyone who might not know what angel numbers are. And remember, this is my view. Everybody sees things differently, but basically angel numbers are usually repeating numbers, almost always, that signify some sort of message or sign from the universe, source, spirit, God, whatever higher power you believe in, if you do. They usually are trying to show us some sort of message or remind us that they're on the right path or that we're on the right path. Different angel numbers have different meanings, but also sometimes you just use your intuition and you know what an angel number is trying to tell you or remind you. And then there are specific definitions for each angel number. When you're seeing angel numbers, it's a divine message from the universe that's coming in at the exact time that it's supposed to. So if you're seeing it, you're meant to be seeing it. Think about it like this. Repeating numbers and such are around us all the time, but you're only noticing specific ones at specific times for specific reasons. So when you see them, you know you're supposed to be seeing them. And if you think something is a sign or if you see an angel number and you believe that it's a sign, it is. Because if you didn't think that, or if it wasn't a sign, that thought wouldn't have popped into your head. And just to say, these are my opinions, these are my views. These views are shared by a lot of people, but also spirituality is different for every single person. Everybody has their own spiritual journey and comes to different, different realizations at different times. So this is all what I believe. But angel numbers all have different meanings or different messages that they are trying to tell you. For example, it could be to trust your intuition. It could be telling you that a big change is coming. It could be telling you that a manifestation is coming through, which is how this relates to manifestation in terms of angel numbers, obviously. I've had many experiences where angel numbers have come up in a time where I was trying to manifest the specific thing. And I've seen them 
and taken them as a message that I am on the right path, that that manifestation is coming and as a reminder to keep faith and keep following my intuition. And the amount of times that these angel numbers have been telling me something and then I've seen that manifestation come through slash the angel number has, my life has reflected, my external life has reflected what the angel number was telling me or giving to me as a message. Another thing about angel numbers is that they don't all necessarily have to be telling you a specific meaning. Sometimes seeing an angel number is just like the universe winking at you or just tapping you on the shoulder and being like, hey, everything's fine, you're chilling. Another thing about angel numbers is that it isn't, again, about the actual message of the specific numbers always, or it could be that. They can also signify spiritual awakening as you're starting to notice more synchronicities around you and open your third eye to that. Sometimes the divine timing that you're seeing these angel numbers represent what the angel numbers are trying to tell you. Keep notice to what you're doing or thinking when you're seeing these angel numbers. For example, let's say I'm doubting my manifestation, thinking that it's not gonna go through, and then I see a repeating slash angel number. To me, that is a sign that my manifestation is coming through and that I need to trust the universe and trust the process. If I'm feeling upset about my current life situation and really just don't like the place I'm in and then see a repeating slash angel number, I'm taking that as a sign that change is coming, my life situation is going to change, and that I just need to see it through and push through knowing that good things are coming to me because I deserve them. Also, very important to remember, manifestation is rooted through your thoughts, your core beliefs about yourself and what you believe that you deserve. When you're seeing these angel numbers, if you're negating them and holding these negative core beliefs that your desires are not going to manifest, they're not gonna manifest regardless of the fact that you're seeing these angel numbers. You need to open yourself up to receiving these signs from the universe and accepting them. After all, we are the universe experiencing itself. Therefore, these signs and messages in a way are coming from ourselves. You need to allow yourself to accept these good things. As I said earlier, these angel numbers do have specific meanings for each one. That doesn't always necessarily mean that that's what the angel number is trying to tell you when you see it. Again, it is a lot about intuition, but I will go ahead and explain the definitions or messages that come from each angel number so that you know what the angel number that you're seeing could be indicating. I also wanna mention that I did just see the time three through three while filming this. But without further ado, let me get into the messages slash meanings for angel numbers. So if you see 000, that is associated with new opportunities fresh starts and the opportunity to create whatever it is that you desire due to this fresh start. So really, you can make big decisions at this point in your journey. Next, I'm gonna talk about 111, which I've been seeing a lot lately. 111 is a powerful manifestation figure. This gives you the opportunity to make a wish, set new intentions. It means that you're working with a lot of support from your angels and that they are taking care of you and bringing you whatever it is that you desire and are asking for. If you see 222, this means, this is telling you to find balance, trust, and alignment with the universe. It means that there are people spiritually or physically who are helping and aiding you in your journey. If you see 333, that is an indication of creativity, opportunity, um, to add your talents or skills to a situation. It means that you are leaning into your innate gifts, could be coming intact or experiencing intuition or uh, psychic abilities more strongly. Next, we're gonna talk about 444. Also, I just wanna say that these are very brief explanations just so I can get through all of them. But if you wanna research any more of these angel numbers in depth, definitely go for it. But 444 uh, represents stabilization. You are in the process of grounding and you have the opportunity to ask for assistance from your spirit guides and finding that trust in yourself to allow yourself to grow and do amazing things with your talents. By finding trust in yourself and others, you will be empowered to reach places that you never thought possible before and coming in touch with your power and capability to manifest anything that you want. So next for 555, 555 is a number that indicates change and new beginnings on the horizon. If you've been feeling stuck, uninspired, kind of just confused as to where you're going from here, 
555 will indicate that massive shifts are in the works and that you are on the right path. Now we're gonna talk about 666, which a lot of people get afraid of because of associations with uh, the devil or religious figures, uh, the devil or um, demon figures. For me, when I see 666, to me, that's a nurturing energy, an empathetic energy, a reminder to take care of myself and put my own needs first. To treat yourself with kindness and understanding. For example, there have been times where I've been being hard on myself, having negative self thoughts, and then I'll see 666. And to me, that's a reminder that I need to take care of myself, be kind to myself, because that's what I deserve. 777 represents fortune, good luck, and abundance coming towards you. It invites you to branch out and try new things that you've been wanting to experience and knowing that you are going to be successful in that and then that good luck is coming towards you. Next, we're gonna talk about 888. Eight is a very divine number in numerology and seeing 888 usually reflects a very divine connection to spirit and ultimate alignment. It's a sign that you are receiving supernatural support from loved ones or whoever is watching over you from above, spirit guides and whoever it may be, and a reminder to dive into your intuition. And next for 999, which is one of my favorite angel numbers to see, it signifies that a certain cycle is coming to an end and you will soon be beginning a brand new journey. This is a really great time to step outside your comfort zone and experience new things as your life is going to be changing very soon. And now for 1111. 1111 is similar to 111 in the sense that it represents new beginnings and that you are on the right path and moving in the right direction. It also represents a signal from your angels letting you know that they are close by and that they are taking care of you and guiding you towards whatever it is that you desire. And that is gonna be a wrap on the angel numbers I'm talking about today. Obviously, different people also find that other numbers have meanings to them. For example, if there's a number that you see constantly and it's always when you're thinking a certain thing or doing a certain thing or you just have that intuition that it's a sign, that can be a sign for you. There are no rules for this, but those are the meanings of the main repeating numbers that people talk about slash see. And yeah. So I believe that's all that I'm going to talk about for today, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos to learn more about manifestation. Stay tuned for a thrift haul from what I got in Berlin. And once again, thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to go check out my caption to get that one month free trial. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you soon.